I get a lot of questions about facelifts and exactly what a facelift entails. So today I wanted to speak about a mini facelift and my version is called a natural lift. With a natural lift, I like to make a relatively small incision, but I do most of the things that I would do in a regular standard facelift anyway. It's just that I'm working through a much smaller area. This is a woman who came to me and asked for some work. She said that she felt like she looked tired and older than she really was. And we decided to pursue uh, a, a, my version of a mini facelift, the natural lift. And in her case, we did some smart lipo on the underside of the neck, trying to bring out the, uh, the angle of the neck a little bit more. Because as you look at the photos, she sort of has lost the, the angle of her mandible. That is, the jawline seems to be lost. And frankly, there's a little bit of jowling there. And the skin from her face really is indistinct from the skin on her neck. So by performing a little bit of liposuction there at the same time that this mini facelift or natural lift was performed, I think it made a huge difference. If we try to elevate the underlying structure of the face without pulling the skin tight. So in the old days, a facelift was simply a matter of um, making some incisions, pulling the skin back, and making a Joan Rivers style facelift. And I actually try to avoid that as much as possible. At the end of the day, I think when I'm done, uh, the patients come out looking better, looking refreshed, but not necessarily looking as though they had a facelift, per se. So if you have questions, or if you're interested in having some kind of face work done, but you really don't want anyone to know that it's been performed, and if you need a quick recovery with very little downtime, a natural lift might be the right procedure for you.